Well, we are here at the Stone Rocks booth, and I have Derek Saracini, uh, certainly a regular on the Real Estate Talk Show, but you're here at the Fall Cottage Life Show, and you love coming to these shows. Why is that? Um, it's a great way to see everybody else that's surrounding us. Uh, it's also a great way to show off our Ontario made and manufactured products. We manufacture a stone line. We also have a natural stone line as well as a thin clay brick line. So we're kind of the one-stop shop for all things stone veneer. And that's kind of what the Fall Cottage Life Show is. I mean, think about what you can see all under one roof. I mean, it would take you years to be able to meet all the exhibitors and see all the different products and services in various companies. But it's important to recognize that Stone Rocks is indeed a Canadian company. And it has an incredible reputation because service is one of the most important things. People come back to you time and time again just because of that experience. Yeah, we try to treat every customer as, as if they're our most important customer, whether it's a small project or a big project. We like to treat everyone like they're the same so everyone feels important. Um, also, the big thing about us is the fact that we are a Canadian company, like Aaron said. Um, all of our colors are relative to the Canadian landscape, so if you check out, we have the Kawartha Ridge, which is obviously uh, the same as the Kawarthas, that Muskoka granite looking type. We also have the Beaverton Bronze, which is subject to the Beaverton area. So because we're so, it's such a proud Canadian company, we like to keep all of our things Canadian relative as well. Fantastic. And in terms of products and services, I mean, you really do offer a wide variety. Yep, we have, uh, like we were saying, we have the full line of manufactured line, which has been our bread and butter for the longest time. Um, we recently brought on complementary products, such as our thin clay brick line. Uh, we have six styles of that. Uh, we also recently brought on our thin natural stone line. So we're kind of, uh, we have all things uh, in terms of thin veneer stone for any kind of project. Okay, so what could be one of the trends that you're recognizing for 2016? What do you see happening? I see a lot more stone being used interior. Uh, people love using the feature walls um, because our stone is so lightweight and it is a thin veneer product. It can go both interior or exterior. Um, so I've seen more, a lot more fireplaces being used. I've seen a lot more feature walls being used. Uh, any kind of stone feature which can create a focal point in any kind of anybody's residential project. And Derek, I think bathrooms are another point, uh, place in which you're seeing a lot of stone being utilized too. Most definitely. Bathrooms is another place where people have gotten the creative ideas to use stone. Um, one thing about it, if you're going to use any kind of stone in your bathroom, I would definitely recommend sealing the stone so you can keep the longevity of the project and maintain the color throughout its life. Absolutely. And of course, I think one of the things we have to remind everybody is the last thing you want is the interior of your home or space to look like a cave. That is uh, one of the biggest things that I recommend. People love stone so much they almost sometimes overwhelm their house with stone. So instead of creating that cave-like appearance where it looks like the bat cave almost, you don't know if Batman's coming out, but uh, but to, uh, to, to retro or to kind of switch that around, I like to create little focal points throughout it so that every, it can pull the whole house together. So sometimes less is more or just be cognizant of the space in which you're, you're you know, you're updating so to speak uh, or what is supposed to be a feature. You don't want it to be an overwhelming feature. No. You want it to be one which blends into the space Definitely. beautifully and I think that's something that we are seeing a little bit of is that you can't help but get carried away because it's so beautiful and it's actually so easy to work with and I think that's why it's happening. People are saying you know what the drywall instead of just replacing that drywall I might as well cover it with something so natural yep. and so beautiful. Yep most definitely. Yeah. Um, one thing about drywall is that you're going to want to put a little bit or some kind of a little bit more of a substrate behind it because it is a little bit more of a weighted product. Um, so you, you can put it on interior wise, I mean you can put it on sh wood sheathing or you can put it on concrete board. Um, just something to create that weight and maintain uh, so the structure can have that longevity. There you go Derek. So you hardly know your stuff and I've so, of course we've done this on the Real Estate Talk Show where we've talked about your company in great length but thrilled that you're here again because it just shows you like to get face to face and interact with your customers and your yeah. consumers which I think is really important. Yeah. You also believe in these shows because you have people here with true intent which I think is important so Derek how can people learn more about Stone Rock the best place to check out our projects are our website at stonerocks.ca that's s-t-o-n-e-r-o-x.ca it'll go through all of our manufactured line it'll go through our natural st stone as well as our thin clay brick veneer line so any kind of creative ideas or you want to get going with any kind of project, that's the best place to go. And there's a lot of visual support there too as well. That's what I love is that you can see all the stone and, and the different applications and more importantly a lot of the projects that you've already done. Yep, it gives people the, uh, the opportunity to see what other people have done. It'll get their creative juices flowing and then it'll create a great project for them as well. There you go everybody. So visit stonerocks.ca. See, that was good. Tag team. There you go. Yeah. Easy as that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have to ask this question. I've got Colin and Justin here, everybody. And honestly, I mean, first of all, we match, just saying. And I didn't even call them ahead of time. But what I need to know is the pant legs, the rolling them up, is that like a trend? Because I obviously, um, I'm not on board or I'm unaware of it. Uh, or are they just trying to grow into their pants? Couldn't resist. Sorry, Colin and Justin. But really cute photo of you guys. But I got to get on the rolling up my pants and wearing the combat boot look. Just saying. 
but dig in the flares too. When we return, we dip into the latest and greatest in spas and hot tubs with Arctic Spas. Best dry hot tub ever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>